taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. If it ain't your car, you just at least say you don't own it. If I'm in the club, I got that fine one. What's up, dopeies? It's your fashion best friend, and I'm back with another video. If you're becoming a dopey, welcome. If you've been a dopey, welcome back. Today, we're going to get into a makeup tutorial. A lot of people ask me how I do my makeup, what products I use, my lippy combo, just an abundance of questions, and this vlog will give you all of your answers. I'll be breaking down each product that I use, how I apply it, why I apply it, and you'll see throughout the process how it works for me. So before we get into that, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that you turn that bell on so you're notified each and every time that your girl blows a vlog. And if you're, you've been a dopey, go ahead and tell the ones needing to become a dopey to go ahead and head over here to see what your fashion best friend has going on. Let's get into it. The most important part about your makeup, if you want it to last, is priming. Now, in most cases, people will tell you to use like e.l.f. primer or things like that to give the matte look that you're going for or the more natural look that you're aiming for without the oily skin. I used to use Ruby Kisses, but I've converted from Ruby Kisses, disregard how dirty it is, and I've started to use Calamine Lotion. I have excessively oily skin, so using calamine lotion really dries my skin out. But before I go in with the calamine lotion, just know that I've already did my facial routine. I've put on any moisturizer on my face that I need to give my skin the absolute gloss that it requires. And then I go in with the calamine lotion. I do take it, shake it up. You know, you want the consistency to be proper i take it and i pour just a little bit into the top of the bottle i go in with let's see this is it. so i absolutely love for me to apply it with a consistency um i like for it to be completely smooth on my face so i go in with this brush that I need to clean. And I literally go up under my eyes and then I take it and I pull it down. Right? I go here. Wherever I apply it, I pull it down to give it a more smoother type of vibe. So that way it's even when I apply my, uh, my foundation. Nothing looks like tacky, bulky, or like my skin isn't as soft as it actually is. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come back After the uh, calamine lotion is put on my face This is what it looks like I go ahead and pour this back in Again, nobody uses this but me And it's only for my makeup Once I get my calamine lotion in I mean, um, I do go ahead and get into my eyebrows. So I'm gonna show y'all the products that I use, and then I'm gonna show y'all how I do the brown. So this is actually the combination that I use. It's Kiss in the color chocolate. It's an all-in-one brow. It comes with a brush with a spoolie on the end, and then the gel. So this is what I use for my eyebrows and I go in and I like them full, but then I like them light around here and I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Soon as. Now I also allow myself different options when it comes to my, um, my concealer. Sometimes I may want a lighter concealer. Sometimes I may want to do a concealer. That is the same color of my skin. I actually need to go to the hair store, so I'm gonna do it today with the concealer that's the same tone as my skin. One second. This box be making me, making it seem like I got a lot of stuff in here. Cause sometimes I can't find nothing, which is crazy, huh? Okay, so today I'm going to use the Pro Touch Full Cover Concealer and I'm going to use the concealer brush 
So these two are what I use to clean up my brows. Oh, my nose itchy. Okay. So the one that I'm using currently is a lot darker. It's more like, it's like a very, very, it's like a dark chocolate. Okay. So I do go in lightly, pull some out. I do start by brushing my brows up because that is the direction that I'm wanting. Now, some of you may be able to see, some of you may not, but my eyebrows need to be done. They're not clean like they, you would expect them to be, but I still know how to do my, execute my brows in a way that I desire without them being done. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all. I start with the very front and I do light strokes. I'm outlining my brow. And always remember when doing so, I always remember when doing so to do uh, light strokes. So that way, because with it being a gel, if you press it too hard, it can make it too dark and not give you what you're aiming for. So then another key thing to my brows being light, I do not start all the way up here. I start about, I say about a half an inch back and I outline the top of my brow, right? So, so far, this is all I have. So then I go back in, get a little bit. And then I go in, I always start with the back because that's where I want it to be the darkest. And I just color. That's really all I do is just color it in. And where I feel like there are light, light spots from where I outlined the eyebrow, I fill those in. Boom. So now my eyebrow looks like this. So it's like, Brittany, you got that dark line up under your brows. Be easy now. So I take my spoolie on my, um, of my brush and I brush it forward, right? Brush it forward. And then I brush it up to take away that line. I brush through my higher brow to make sure that everything is giving a consistency. Boom. That's my brow. You see how it's lighter here, then it fades into a darker. That's how the natural eyebrow grows, and that's how I like my eyebrow. So look. All right. After getting my eyebrow lined up how I wanted to, I'm going to go in with my concealer. Being that this one has a brush. I just take my concealer brush, put it on there. I don't want or need too much, okay? Boom. So then I go in and I line it. I'm very, very, very big on outlining, clearly. This is how you clean your brows to give it a more fresh look. Boom. So then do the same thing at the top. Get you a little bit. A little bit go a long way. And I literally, oop. Line. Boom. And then I literally just take my brush and blend it in. Blend it in. 
Same thing at the top. I pull it up. Up and away from the brow. And blend it in. Period. Just like that, both brows done. So then I go in with my Fit Me Concealer in the shade <clears throat> 312. Now, what I used to do is put it on my hand, but I felt like that was a little bit ghetto. So I stopped doing that. What I still do is still ghetto, but it is what it is. I take my concealer, I mean, what is this? Foundation, goodness gracious. And I just put a little bit on my brush. Now, I don't like cakey makeup, so I don't put a lot on my brush. And I don't put foundation on all of my face. So I take it and I put it here. I put it here. I put a little there and then here. And then I blend it. And I blend it the same way that I blend my Caliban lotion at a downward motion. I make sure I get my neck because it all needs to match. Boom. This side always seems to look like it got more makeup, but yeah. I blend this in. And I look, I be looking scary. I don't care what nobody said. This looks scary. And I take my brush and I go through my brows. I go back to my spoolie and I brush them back out because I don't like boxy eyebrows. Not my thing. Boom. All right, so then y'all yeah, remember that concealer that I used for my brows. I go back in because I like to put a concealer that's the same like skin tone here. This is a full coverage, so I just right, and this is also the same concealer that I use here. Uh oh, boom. And then I and then I blend. So I take my I need to wash all my brushes and stuff. So judge me not, but I take it and then I just dab. Yes, it is dry. And I just dab under my eyes. So I do like a up and out with this because I want to bring it up, obviously. <laughs> And then just blend, 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 blend. I don't know why I didn't put this in my nose. Well. And hear me out. Makeup makes just the fucking mess. It's makeup. It's creativity. It's powder. It's the liquids. It's dust. I'm talking about the eyeshadow. And I just blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. And this part of the makeup is really just for the parts that you want to brighten. Boom. And I look crazy. So this is what I look like. A clown, right? So then I go in 
with my porcelain. It's in the shade porcelain. It is LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color porcelain because I like this to be really like. I go in with that. that there and honestly you don't need much like once you get into the hang of really applying your makeup you'll understand that you don't need much starting out starting out we do feel like we need a lot of makeup in order to get the look that we desire but when you learn how to do it i promise you'll understand why you don't need that much you see how far i can spread that little bit that i put right there and it's still a lot there, honestly. And I do take it up on my nose because I don't put concealer like on my nose. Like, you know how some people put it right there in the middle? I do not do that. I love the brown nose effect. Okay. Spread and blend. And to some of y'all, y'all may be like, that's ugly. And it's okay. Opinions hold no weight over here, honey, because if I want to do it, I'm going to do it. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? So I just blend, 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 blend. But this side seems like it always gets more than this side. Okay. Boom. That's that. After I apply my highlight concealer, I do go in with the HD Flawless by Absolute in the color Golden Banana to set my highlight. Boom, boom, boom. I go in with one of my beauty blenders, lay it in there. And I take it and I apply it, bring it down, spread, and I repeat. And I put this in all the areas I want to be lighting. Boom. And I let it sit. Oh, see what I'm saying? A mess. Auntie is not a contour type of girl. I am a bronzer type of girl. I got this from my local beauty supply store. It is by Kiss New York Glow and Bronzer Powder in the shade Deep. I don't like like it very dark. I don't, that's just not my thing, you know? So I do what works best for me. See, it still gives the effect in the same way that a, a contour would, but that's just not what, I, what Brittany goes for. And again, what I do for my makeup may not work for you, which is understandable. And I don't expect it to, but I get a lot of inquiries about it. So I'm just giving y'all my sauce. And I'm giving you the fucking recipe, period. I apply it here. Because again, the point of makeup is honestly to um, slim your face. To give you softer, uh, smoother looking skin and to enhance the beauty that you already have, if applied correctly. So this is what I do for my nose. I love a brown nose. I used to do all that. I don't feel like doing eyeshadow, so I take my bronzer. This is honestly my signature. Take my bronzer and apply it. Boom. 
Boom. And that's how I apply my bronzer. Yeah. Mm. So what I'm going to do as well, because I went ahead and applied my bronzer, I do want to give like a clean type of look. So I go back in with the same setting powder, golden banana, and I just put a little, clean it up right there. That's it. Boom. After I do my bronzer, I go in with my blush by Golden Rose in the color 108. And I will make sure that the things, because I got this from Amazon, I do just put a line, put a line, and I put a across on my nose i did get this from amazon so i will put my storefront link in my description box click it and purchase all of the makeup the makeup that i've got from amazon from my storefront of course get your color do not get mine and yeah boom so i have bling, 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 bling. Blim, 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 blim. I like to bring it up too. Blim, 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 blim. Boom. Blend it in my nose. As I am still baking, because that's the part where they call it baking, when you put the powder on, I go in with my um matte liner from nx makeup liquid with the gold top and apply my eyeliner okay eyeliner on so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my lashes. Now I know a lot of people struggle with putting lashes on, the strips on, but I just feel like the easiest way to put lashes on is if you put them in, put them on at the center and then lay it at the ends. And reason being is because it gives you a sense of balance when you're uh, applying them to your eyes. And I use lash adhesive. I am no longer the girl, and I haven't in years, used um, hair glue. Hair glue is for just that, your hair, not your eyes. So if you are using hair glue to apply your lashes in 2023, I'm gonna need you to go to your local beauty supply store and get you some Super Hold by IMB. Okay? Get you some fucking lash glue. Stop putting uh, all that hair glue on your eyes. So boom, putting my lashes on, I start off in the center. Right? And then I go in at the ends and apply. I feel like applying it with te uh, teasers. Tweezers is a lot more easier than applying it with your hands. So if you've never tried it with a tweezer and only been doing it with your hands, allow yourself to grab some tweezers and help yourself with applying your lashes. So that way you can make it easier on yourself. Especially for my girls that got long nails. Excuse me. Same thing. Put it in the middle. Apply it at the ends. Now I know a lot of people who let their glue dry. I don't. I apply it on there while it's wet. I 
I'm sorry. I don't like, like, you know, when people be having their lashes on and they like straight across. I'm not that type of girl. Not for a second. So, I have to make sure that my lashes are evenly laid. So, it gives, you know, the round effect that my eye gives. Boom. That's the lashes. That's the liner. Now, I'm not the coldest by far when it comes to eyeliner. My eyes run. I blink a lot. And I honestly do what works for me. I wear a lot of glasses too, so it's not like people up in my face to see. Oh, dang, hold on. Uh -oh. To see that, like, my eyeliner ain't straight. Then I go in with my brush that I broke and I pat my concealer, I mean, my setting powder out. And when I'm petting it, I'm petting it at an outward motion, but I'm also pressing it into my skin. Boom. Make sure that we get this over here. Over here. Up here. Boom. Now, this next question is a question that I get very often, which is my lip combo. Now, I don't use anything special, okay? I honestly take the same brow gel that I put on my eyebrows and apply it to my lips. I'm going to show you how. I take my same brush that I use for my brows and I honestly do the same thing, but... I apply it a lot harder because I want it to be darker. So I go on like this. Boom, that's my bottom lip. And my top lip. So when I do it, I like to for my lips to give a very clean type of look. So I do go up and around. So you see how that point goes up? Mm-hmm. Same thing on this side. Now, by the time I get to this side, I got to re-up, honey. Boom. And that's my outline. So after I get my lips outlined, I honestly just take it and blend. Just to take the harsh lines away. And after you get done blending, boom, your lips look like this and they're dry as hell. Mm -hmm. Won't leave that out. So because I'm wearing like a darker color today, I think I'm going to go for like a lighter lip. Now I do have this. Do I want to go for that? I could. I have this Kiss New York 
uh, it's Celeste Matte Lip, uh, Lip, Liquid Lip. I don't know why I couldn't get that out, get that out in the shade 09. I have this, but I have it in brown too. I'm gonna do this. Cause I'm scared. And I honestly just bottom lip pat. And again, the purpose is the ombre. I absolutely love my brown to still show. And that's all I do to get my lip like that. Guys, now that the lip is done, I go back in with my highlight. I use, I don't know how to say it, Lifus, Lifus, whatever. I use this one. It is the Illuminating Kit. It has four different shades of um, highlight in it. Um, now I do use my highlighter brush when I'm doing my jawline. Cheekbones is what I'm into. So it's right here. And today I think I'm gonna go in with the lovers, which is this one, and just put it on. And I just go like this. Okay, bless you. She's dreaming. Same thing on this side. Boom. Once I do that, I go in with um, I use this little brush. No, not at all. I use where's my brush? Boom. I use this little brush to apply it everywhere else. So I put it on my nose, the tip of my nose. I take it and I put it on the bridge of my nose. I take it and I put it at the arch of my eyebrows. But I do blend. I take it and I put it at the, whatever this is called. And then I take it and I put it at the top of my chin, right below my lip. Boom. And that's where I highlight. Once I do that, I have moles on my face. Um, so I go in and now I do get a little extra, not gonna lie, I do, but I do what I like, you know what I'm saying? The best way to be you is by doing what you like, right? So then I go in and I put my, I use my liquid liner and I just place my moles. <gasps> where I want them. Boom, I gotta fix this one on my nose. Okay, so then I go in, put my ball back on my nose. What are you doing today? answer once i do all that i go in with my ruby kisses matte finish setting spray and set the motherfucking tone mm-hmm mm-hmm okay and just like that 
your girl is giving fine this fucking one. I definitely hope that this makeup tutorial helped you. Let me take this. Helped you and gave you the best steps to get your makeup on. Check her out. She's so good. Get your makeup on the way that you want it on. See the products that you need to create the look. And yeah. You already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and make sure that you turn that bell on so you're notified each and every time that your girl blows a vlog. Trust and believe. I shall return. Bye. I'm taking these drugs. I'm gonna be up until the morning. If it ain't your car, you just leave so you don't own it. If I'm in the club, I got that five.